I'm a tiger. <sighs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to part three of Super Mario 64. It seems as if Mario just lost part two and got bored and fell asleep. Well, that is why I made it an optional part, so you can skip it. I made no progress in that part, so if you wanted to just skip it, watch this part, then feel free. Ah, uh, that was Mario sleeping, it does nothing special, so we, in part one, we got a star in this level. So in part two, we are leaving that level forever and going to this one. What is this one you say? Well, reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens, except it opens fairly quickly. That is Princess's face, Ow, and that is me hitting the wall. So, because Bowser just decided to give Peach one last letter writing, after she sent her cake one and kidnapped her, Mario, my castle is in great peril! I know that Bowser is in the cars, and I know that only you can stop him. The doors in the castle that have been sealed by Bowser can be opened only with the star power. But there are secret paths in the castle, paths that Bowser hasn't found. One of those paths is in this room, and it holds one of the castle's secret stars. Find that secret star, Mario. It will help you on your quest. Please, Mario, you have to help us. Retrieve all of the power stars in the castle. Free us from this awful prison. Please! So Peach decided to leave us a little letter, and apparently there's a secret path in here. Is it here? It is not. Is it here? It is not. What about here? It apparently isn't, but it is. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So, welcome to Princess Peach's secret slide. Welcome to Princess Toadstool's secret slide. There's a star hidden here that Bowser couldn't find. When you slide, press forward to speed up, pull back to slow down. If you slide really fast, you'll win the star that Bowser couldn't find. Whoa. So, I'm going to try to go through this as fast as I can. Because I want that secret, secret star, even though both stars up, that can be obtained in this level are considered secrets. Spoiler alert, there are two stars that you can get in this level. So I uh, will be getting not the other one. I'll just be getting this one. And I got the one up. And now I'll get this star. Now we've got star number two, finally! Part three, we just got the second star. Anyway, that is star number two. So, rather than trying again, I am going to a completely different level. That is how I'm going to be doing this entire Let's Play. One star, and then I go to the next level. Never get two stars within the same level two times in a row. Why? Because that is just how I roll. Sometimes you'll bump into invisible walls at the edge of the painting worlds. If you hit a wall while flying, you'll be, be bounced back. Yes, so invisible walls, they are mentioned, so you don't keep running into them like a dummy. It was Bowser who stole the stars. I saw him with my own eyes. Yes, because that's a secret still, and we still think it could be anyone else. He's hidden six stars in each course, but you won't find all of them in the same course until you press the cap switches. The stars you found will show on each course, starting screen. If you want to see some of the enemies you've already defeated, it's like the stars you've recovered from them. Yes, so welcome to World 2. If you see this tree right here, when I was a child, actually, I thought that was a turtle. I thought I'd let you know that. Because that is an important piece of information that you should know. So, star number one, chip off Womp's block. So, welcome. Hello, Lakidu Bros here, cutting in with a live update on Mario's progress. He's about to learn a technique for sneaking up on enemies. The trick is this, he has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. And wrapping up filming techniques reported on earlier, you can take things to view mentioned to view the actions from a distance. When you can't move the camera any further, the buzzer will sound. 
This is the Lucky Bro signing off. I decided to skip some of that text because that's kind of lame. And I'm going to read this super quick. I'm sleeping because I'm sleepy. I don't like being disturbed. Please walk quietly. So walk quietly if you so choose and then punch it in the face. The music also changes while you do that and you're rewarded with five coins of blue coin. Ow. The shadowy star in front of you is a star marker. When you collect eight red coins, the star will appear. So that's how you get stars from red coins. So I'm going to be going this the way that most people would go it's on their very first trip. Not everyone goes that way. I will be showing you another way. But the first way I will be showing is that way. Because... Well, a lot of people just go the other way every single time, and it's just kind of lame, right? Stop punching the sign, Mario. I'm sorry if this sign reading stuff is boring, but there aren't very many signs after a certain point of the game, and they will be stopped once they're, all the signs are gone. The path is narrow here, easy does it, no one is allowed on top of the mountain. If you know what's good for you, you won't wake anyone who's sleeping. Move slowly, tread lightly. Okay, so moving slowly and lightly to not wake that guy. Um, he decided to just take a vacation or something. I right, more signs. I'll skip this sign, read it later. I don't want to ruin all the gameplay. Um, yeah. So welcome, this is a thwomp. He will try to stomp you. You can stomp him, get coins, or you can just kill him, compound him, and get lots of coins. That is a good tactic to get a hundred coins, which is important in this game. So that is how you destroy them. And now time for the boss of Womp's Fortress. Note how most stars in the game and each world, the very first one will make you go through the entire level so you can get a view of the level for future stars, which are often easier than the first. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No! Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. If you have a problem with that, just try to pound me, wimp. <laughs> So what you gotta do is do what you do with the enemies except not fail. So that was kind of a fail. And this isn't a not fail, that is a success. Success rates number 100%. I don't understand what I'm saying, but I'm just saying stuff. So this guy's pretty easy. That's his only attack. Let's go to the front and pound his head. And say, and he'll say, no, I'm crushed again. I'm just a stepping stone. After all, I won't gravel or grovel. Here, you win. Take this with you. I have no idea why I decided to change his voice. It wasn't that terribly lame voice. But I did, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, yeah. So that is me grabbing the star with a stylish flip and spinning in peace. So. I've always imagined Mario just jumping out of the painting, pounding his fist on the ground in an epic fashion. You've recovered three power stars. Now you can open any door with a three on its star. You can come up and go from the door courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. Yes. Thank you for pointing out the three. I don't understand what I'm trying what I tried to say there. But any door with a three, we can go to. So the first door with a three that we will be going to is this door with a three. Do 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 do. I should play music whenever doing that. So welcome to here. Before I go there, I will be showing you a little secret one-up, and it is right here. Oh, it's it almost disappeared. Huh? But it didn't. I am success. This is not success. This is a toad. His name is success, though. The names of the stars are also hints for finding them. They are displayed at the beginning of each course. You can collect the stars in any order. You won't find some stars, enemies, or items unless you select a specific star. After you collected some stars, you can try another course. We're all waiting for your help. I'm helping. I'm helping. Don't rush me. I'm just an Italian plumber who looks like a Mexican. Hmm. Read my 
Japanese! My parents are Japanese. Maybe. Anyway, welcome to your to the first red coin mission of the Let's Play. So, this is an underwater section. All you got to do is circle around, find these eight red coins, and then you will win the world. Yes, the world will be given to you. Now that we've got the four up there, now it's fun for the four down here. So how are you all doing? I am doing phenomenal. I'm glad you asked me that as well. So how's that crazy little voice in your head? Do you hear him now? Well, you're just a little crazy weirdo, aren't you? Anyway, this is the seventh red coin, and we are about to get the eighth. Swimming, I'm doing the breaststroke. And I will be about to get the star. I just used grammar logic success something. I have no idea what I said just there. It was just kind of weird how I said it. So, first star underwater. Mario does a nice backflip and then peeks. Yes! So that was one of the castle's secret stars. Well. I think this episode's gone on long enough. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this part of the Let's Play. Like I said, I'm sorry if the signs bore you. I'll try not to read them all, like, right away to ruin the flow of the game. So this has been that voice in your head, you crazy little weirdo. I will yeah. see you later. Peace yeah. out. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, yeah. good evening, yeah. good night. Yeah.